All right, what is up, guys? Welcome back to North Outdoors. Today, what are we doing? Okay, we're gonna do a little catch and cook for you. So we're gonna start off with some walleye. We're gonna prepare it in four different ways and show you how we, you know, cook each of them up, and we'll do a little taste test afterwards. And quickly, we're gonna show you how we caught those. All right, guys. Good mark on the graph here, but there's also a small mark on the graph. Gus is trying to secure the big mark <laughs> and not get the small mark. <laughs> Oh no. He's lacking a bit on big fish of the trip. We'll see if he can get this one. Oh, looks like he hit his dead stick. Oh, when he put it down. Picky fish. Come back, come back, come back. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Gus got him. Nice. Gus is loaded up. Good fish. Maybe. Probably not, actually. Yeah. Not a bad fish. Can you move that? And here we go. It was a big mark, but... Come on, Gus. Well, that was awesome. Brilliant. Yeah, that was awesome. So we have <laughs> now... Um, five fillets to work with. We're gonna cook four different messes with them. RJ, what are we gonna do with this one? All right, we got this big lake trout here we just caught today out on Lake Michigan, jigging uh, with some Berkeley Gulf uh, minnows, oranges. That was pretty cool. Maybe I'll show you guys a little bit of that here. He's coming again on that. Upside down. That's upside down. That's upside down. There you go. Does it matter? Wow. Come on, Gus. Oh my god. Oh yeah. <laughs> Get him up, Gus. <laughs> Woo! There you go. Bring him in. <laughs> Alright, about that run. That's a that's a nice lake here. That's probably my biggest one jigging ever. Lift her in here. Kind of letting them rest. Ready, buddy? Oh. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this up and then I'm gonna trim it into little cubes and we're gonna fry it up the same way as the walleye. See how it does. I've never had fried lake trout before, but generally these bigger lake trout are uh, not quite as good as the smaller ones, so we're thinking maybe frying it will we'll open out a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So uh, definitely wanna stay tuned and uh, stay along for some, you know, cooking tips. Okay. Let's catch you guys in the kitchen. All right, here we go. Oh my God, oh my God. Dude, this is. <laughs> yup, come check that out. That's a little smaller than the one I need. Look at that oh nice gosh. goby. Whoa, that's kind of cool. That's what they wow. eat, boys. Gobies. Like, oh my gosh. Still, like, like, like whole. Back to regularly right scheduled program. <laughs> Uh, it's a pretty simple recipe. We take some mayonnaise. Really thin? Yeah. A touch of mayonnaise. A little bit of Dijon mustard. This is Kroger brand. Keep stuff I can find. Yep. A touch of that. And then some super fine minced pickles and just a little squirt of lemon juice. So we're going to get that going. It's going to be awesome with the fried fish. Alright guys, we prepped all the fish here. We got all the ingredients ready. Al's going to take you through our four different preparations for our two fish here. Yeah, so first we got our walleye right here on this plate. I'll show you guys that just so you can see what we're working with. So that's our walleye. We caught them into like half fillets basically just so we can um, try out a different uh, cooking style for each one. And here's the lake trout. So we've kind of cubed up this lake trout and we trimmed all the fat. So we're going to do the same thing we're going to do with the walleye and kind of see how it uh, shakes out. Yeah, so something that's a little interesting just to point out right away is like the color difference. So with the walleye, you got mostly white. You know, there's some pink ones in there. 
But with the lake trout, you know, would you say it's like a little orangey yeah, tint it to orange, it? Yeah, it's orange, So that'll be interesting. Um, both should be really good. And again, we kind of cut each fish to, you know, better suit its flavor profile. So like the walleyes are a little bit bigger is basically just trying to what I say. So four different ways we're going to prepare these. RJ, you want to talk about the first type? Yeah, so the first type here is going to be panko. This is just a plain gluten-free panko that we have. Oh, so yeah. We're just going to dip them in a quick egg wash, dip them in the panko, and get a quick sear on them in the deep fryer, and then out. Like yeah, that. similarly to that, we're going to do egg wash, and then we're actually going to use Doritos. So we'll see how that works out. It's just basic Doritos that we crushed up, and it'll be similar to the panko. Third one is a slappy o mama style. So we got a little bit of slappy o mama, a little bit of Creole seasoning. So it's sort of like Cajun style fried fish. And last one. And then the last one is we're gonna no breading. We're just gonna plain put it on the cast iron, but we're gonna use the tartar sauce that you saw RJ made uh, earlier, and then squeeze some lemon on top. So we'll come back to you when we're cooking, and we'll do a little taste test at the end of this. Stay okay. tuned. Alrighty guys, we just finished cooking up this fish, it's just a couple minutes on each side. We got the lake trout, which are the smaller chunks, and the walleye, which is the bigger chunks, and these are all encrusted in Dorito. Well, let's see how it tastes. Start with the lake trout. Al, you gotta grab a walleye? I'll grab a walleye? Wait a second, this is walleye. You gotta grab a lake trout. Okay, I'll grab a lake trout. The lake trout are the little nuggets. Now, this just came off the grill, so it's gonna be a little hot. Oh, I'm hungry. I'll grab a walleye. Well, it's walleye with Doritos. <laughs> oh, I see it's a little hot. It's a little hot. Like clear out, please. There you go. Which one do I have? It's good. The crunch is really good. The crunch is not, good. They're not much flavor. That the texture is good. The Dorito flavor is kind of lost. Okay. Yeah. So like the crunch is, is really good. Might be one? I don't know. It's hot. This is definitely mm -hmm. You got crunch? That's about it. Mm hmm. I agree. I think if you baked it, you'd taste the Dorito. But it is a good breading. It's like a crunchy breading. So, guys, if you're gonna do Dorito, maybe add a little extra seasoning. Yeah, Census, consensus on this is the crunch is really good, but you kind of lose the Dorito flavor. So, so what I'm hearing is we should dip it in the sauce. Yeah, the sauce will be good, but we're gonna save that well, for another try. And guess what? Yeah, right. gluten free. Good. That is gluten free. All right, we'll catch you. And oh no, Arjun's gonna try it with the sauce. Try the sauce too. Okay. Talk this is sauce. wall. This is walleye with the tartar sauce. All right, heard it here first. Claire's lost in the sauce. But Claire is in fact lost in the sauce. I just love tartar sauce. Oh. with pickles. Oh. Woo! That makes a world of difference, folks. It cools it off. I hear, I hear RJ has the best sauce around. That is really good sauce. Sauce is a bit of a game changer. Yeah. For the, for the Dorito bite. For the Doritos. RJ, how do you make the sauce? Well, luckily, we to three minutes of the video to find the sauce recipe. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> All right, guys, took the panko fish out of the pan. We'll give them a look at that. So it looks pretty similar to the Dorito one, but again, it's panko, not Dorito. Um, we're going to let the girls come in, taste this a little bit. It's going to be really hot, um, and we'll do a little comparison to Doritos. Can I do it with the tartar sauce or without? Uh, try without first. Let me have half a bite. Yeah. Is this oh, Halle Wally or is this... No, they both went for lake trout first. Ooh. No, that's not lake trout. Okay, what's your thought compared that's to Dorito? Trout. Yeah, that's lake trout. Ooh. I think I like it better than Dorito. Oh, there you have it. Alright, try with the sauce. Flavor. Um, sauce? I'm gonna go for the lake trout too. I think this is like... Yeah, this is walleye. Here, this is walleye. That's gonna be a good walleye piece right mm -hmm. That's good. I'm gonna give giving a walleye a try. Mmm. Hot. <laughs> it's hot. Uh -huh. It's not as crunchy as the no, Dorito. It's not as crunchy. And yeah, the taste like is more like. It has thing. a good flavor though. The taste yeah. is better than it's the Dorito. It's a smaller crunch. I agree. So it's a small, it's a lighter crunch, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is just panko and I added a little bit of uh, garlic powder, oh. onion powder, yeah. um, salt and pepper. 
Okay. Yeah, that's it. So it's nice flares coming through. I agree. I think I'm honestly impressed with how the leg traps hold up to the walleye. I agree. Like yeah. it's not quite as good, but it's still very good. Mm-hmm. It's uh, as you can see, the meat's pretty white in there, and mm-hmm. you don't know real fish flares coming through. I agree. Alrighty, guys, this is Gus's patent in case you they learn from somebody on honey trip. Uh, let's dive right in. Looks like it's perfectly cooked, Gus. Good job. Wow. That's really good. Put a lot of this on there by accident, but probably could use more. Put some slapper mama on there. Probably could use more. Lemon pepper, guess what? Probably could use more. <laughs> I think the barter turned out good. And then we put some onions and lemon on top put some chunks. It's weird, isn't it? I would say the flavor, <laughs> the flavor is really good. It could use a little more salt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the flavor is added really no really salt. Good. It's salt like a free. Little right spicy, you added no salt? Nope. You don't need salt. I think it'd be good over rice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it would. So which one's the lake trout and which one is the walleye? So I'm about to try lake trout. It's, it's the, the same walleye. presentation. Good good luck, buddy. Mm-hmm. Let's see how it is. Oh wow. Okay. It tastes almost exactly the same. <laughs> I'm saying the texture is just a little different, but the flavor is pretty good. Oh, Claire gets a nice onion. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, Who knows if that's cooked or not? Mm -hmm. And then it's in the I feel like I'm eating like a deconstructed curry. That's what I went for, really. Yeah. I didn't know that, but he figured it out. We have one more to try. It's just going to be plain. So no bread covering. And we'll, we'll see how that goes. So stay tuned for that. Also, gluten free. Gluten free, don't forget folks. Alrighty guys, we got the plain walleye and lake trout here. This is literally just plain walleye. I cooked in some oil, that's it. I'm not trying that. Gosh. I'm gonna try it. I'm also gonna try it. Uh, we're gonna try it first, completely plain, then I'm gonna put lemon on there, and we're gonna dip it in the sauce and see how that tastes. There so first, let's try plain lake trout. Okay, yeah. Right? Yeah. Pretty hot. It is hot. Okay. You know, with nothing to compare it to, the texture is a little interesting. You're on the light drop. It's not very good. It's not my favorite. Okay. I don't. I wouldn't do this again. Let's go over to plain walleye. <laughs> All right. Okay. Can I have one of those pieces? <laughs> nothing on it. Mm. That's a lot better. That was a lot better. Wow. So that's good to know. Folks. I still wouldn't do it again. How does it compare to the white fish? Oh, way better than the white fish. All right, here we go. We're gonna add some lemon. Oh, preference the white fish. White fish. Yeah, is... we didn't handle. We're gonna have a follow up to our white fish. So yeah. yeah, we'll get back to you on white fish, folks. All right. Now, just a little bit of lemon. Okay. Back to the lake trout. Oh. Wow. Way better. Wow. <laughs> I would do that again. Absolutely elevate to the next level with that. Okay. Next with the walleye. Yep. Wow, that's way better too. Lemon. So we're saying if you could have one ingredient, we'd go with lemon. Man, the main event. Sauce. Tar sauce. Go for it, RJ. Dude. Oh my god, I just got kicked in the foot. Okay, now this is with lemon, sauce, and lake trout. Wow. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. RJ's secret sauce makes everything good. All right, I'm gonna say overall for the video, my favorite was the panko and the tartar sauce. Okay. The Doritos had a nice crisp too. Doritos and tartar sauce by far. Oh, so Gus is saying Doritos are her favorite. I'm gonna go on a little bit of a dark horse here. I really enjoyed the, the Creole occasion seasoning one. Uh, I could sit down and have a lot of that. I really enjoyed the flavor. Gav, what was your favorite? Probably none of these. I wow. like I like the biscuit ones. Okay. Yeah, so that... the cheese curds. I like the cheese curds. Gus. So, I Doritos, tartar sauce. But you need to add some seasoning to the Doritos. I, I, I think the Doritos be crisps best. were the best. Okay. Actually, whoa, 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 we're sleeping on the No, I, that was mine. I said oh, thanks, it. Thanks, yeah. so. My think, favorite was the Cajun. We just took the Doritos and added the seasonings we did, the garlic powder, the garlic salt, and the onion salt, and the onion powder, and the salt and pepper. <laughs> <laughs> to the Doritos, I think that'd be pretty good. So maybe we'll try it next time. Yeah. So um, if you enjoyed this video, you know a little catch and coat that's kind of new, but let us know. Give us some uh, feedback, comments in the below what you want to see next. 
But yeah, if you want to see us try everything, I got a recommendation for your favorite way to cook up all your lake trout, drop a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And remember, folks, nobody owns the water. Whoa. See you on the next one. Okay, what's next? Wow, what a great take.